What is concentricity? The dictionary defines concentricity as sharing the same center, as in circles. An important aspect of press performance is the quality of the roller you put on press. There is nothing built like a concentric roller. To explain the importance of concentricity, Pacesetter has created this presentation. Simply stated, the center hole, journal surface, and rubber surface should be concentric to one another. If the center hole doesn't remain concentric to the journal surface, the roller will not run true. Maintaining concentricity is the responsibility of your roller manufacturer. A good center is shown on the left compared to a damaged center hole represented on the right. The difference in center holes may be undetectable to the eye. However, a defective center hole becomes an issue if not repaired prior to recovering. How does the center hole become damaged? Of course, with less precise methods of removing a bearing, the center hole is likely to become damaged. Yet, each time a bearing puller is used accurately, there is a chance of nicking or damaging the uniformity of the center hole. With repeated handling, the center hole has the potential to become damaged. For a roller to be concentric, all parts of that roller must be made and kept true to the center hole. The original center hole of the journal is machined into the core when it is manufactured. If you have a roller recovered just once, there is a 20% chance that it is no longer concentric. The odds multiply each time that roller is recovered. What does this mean for the performance of your press? Defective, non-concentric rollers are the underlying cause of many of the problems that create so much frustration for a printer. If you've ever spent the afternoon chasing dry-ups, you will know exactly what we're talking about. Rollers that are concentric and properly set will provide better performance and longer life on press. Premature wear and end pitting on a roller may also be attributed to the fact that a roller lacked concentricity. Most printers blame incorrect setting, when in fact, a non-concentric roller can never be set properly. Excessive heat and friction drives plasticizers out, resulting in premature aging. Observe the dial indicator as we measure the concentricity between the journal surface and the center hole of the roller sent out for recover. It makes sense that if the journal is non-concentric to the center hole, the rubber covering as well as the bearing will be non-concentric when mounted. As you can see, this roller requires a center hole repair. Without a center hole repair, the roller needs special handling and shimming, requiring too much time and attention from the recoverer. Once recovered and on press, the defective roller can create inconsistent pressure and ultimately premature wear. During the recover process, your core is handled and turned on a lathe several times. Each time this is done, there is one more opportunity for the center hole to become nicked or wallowed out. Most roller recoverers just strip off the old rubber covering and put on a new one. Some are unaware of the importance of concentricity. Others are aware but do not have a machine shop facility to make the necessary center hole repairs. Most printers won't pay for center hole repairs. There are many opportunities for a center hole to be nicked or damaged. Recovering increases the odds of damaging the center. Using a new core eliminates the likelihood of potential damage that can occur during the recover process. The chances of installing a defective roller in your press increase every time you recover that old core. Without realizing why you find yourself chasing problems like dry-ups, constant resetting, and difficulty maintaining water and ink balance. A new core protects against potential losses due to downtime and waste as a result of installing a non-concentric roller. Whether you are buying new core and cover or recovering the original old core that came with your press, ask yourself these questions. Does my recoverer check the center holes for deformities? Have I ever been billed for a center hole repair? The only way to be sure of concentricity is to start with a new core and cover. Observe the dial indicator as it measures the concentricity between the journal surface and the center hole of a brand new roller. Consistent transfer pressure is important to maintain the proper water and ink balance. A non-concentric roller will build up heat due to deflection, 
making it difficult to maintain consistent water and ink balance. Simply stated, this means you can never set the roller properly. As the non-concentric roller rotates on press, it actually loses contact with the plate or other rollers, resulting in poor water and ink balance. When you consider that it only requires approximately seven thousandths of an inch movement to create a correct stripe, if you set a roller on the low side and it was out of concentricity by as little as three thousandths, you would be squeezing the high side nine thousandths. This condition is the cause of deflection. You cannot hope to set this defective roller correctly if, with each quarter turn of the roller, the stripe size varies anywhere from one sixteenth of an inch to one eighth of an inch. The best reason to always buy new core and cover whenever possible is the guarantee that the roller will run true. If you set the roller on the high side and it is out enough, this will result in winking. Being out by three thousandths is common on used roller cores. We've seen them out as much as eight thousandths of an inch. Of course, if you are running your press at only five thousand impressions per hour, don't be too concerned. However, if you are a high-speed printer, concentricity is essential to you. There you have it, a comprehensive look at concentricity and its significance to roller performance. That's why Paysetter guarantees a roller that's concentric with all the features you expect, lasting performance and long life on press.